When the doctors came out, they were visibly exhausted and shaken and stained red with spattered blood. The birth had killed my wife, but the child had survived. I went to a room and saw the baby. I wasn't allowed to hold it, but I stood and looked at it through a haze of confusion and contempt. I took the child home and cared for it. Every time it began to crawl and then walk. Every time it grew deep and bit me. I sat and watched him break every toy I gave him to play with. I picked up the cat dead after he threw it down the stairs and broke his neck. I watched him and felt the resentment grow, seeing it was the living place of my wife. He was the thing as far as his humanity as the most vile deeds. He grew and began to sense my hatred for him. He sat and looked at each other, both the chief got upon the other. The little king and I no longer was willing to accept him as a result of my scene. I approached him sleeping in his bed and put a pillow over his face. There was no sadness in this. As he started to struggle for air, I saw a flash of something and felt a warm stone of pain in my chest. I looked up the pillow and saw the knife in my stomach. The blood spilled across the floor and I dropped to my knees. Then he came to finish me with a knife in his hand and murder in his eyes.